Greetings everyone, The Good Tonight here, and today we're doing a review on another one of, well, my personal favorite things I got to encounter early into my airsoft career, grenade launchers. Today we're looking at the Matrix, little all-metal grenade launcher here, which I actually like the design of. So as you may know, I had the old S-Thunder, was it metal, top-railed, little pistol grip, very L-shaped sort of grenade launcher, all capital L, and this one's more of a lowercase L. And it was pretty good. I liked it a lot. It was very fun. It was easy to just poke around corners, pull the trigger, and have a good time. Although I was really bad at with it at first. Took forever to load and lining up good shots was a bit of a pain. Well, now we've got a very closed in CQB sort of field environment, and no one wants to run through a grenade launcher. They're very hard to use properly, but if you do use them properly, whoever they're used on doesn't want to play the rest of the day. So let's talk about this. So, first off, it's Bloodborne. <laughs> it's completely honest, it's Bloodborne. This is the Bloodborne shotgun design. Except not really, it's not nearly as embellished. And fans are very unique. You can see the influences of the very straight shape of design, so you can very much hold it down at waist level and it's ready to go. You've got the more modern grenade launchers sort of a cutout here, so you can get a hold of the grenade to load them. And that's what I do really like, the fact that you're using this. You go, ah, vast matey, pa, and then immediately you go, thunk, you take out that shell, throw in a new shell, and you're ready to go again. I like the design a lot. The old S-Thunder only popped out about that far, and you had to maneuver your shell a lot, and had a little side release down here. This one's a lot more streamlined. I thought it was going to have more of a M79 old-school breech loaded shotgun design where you just slide a little latch. This one actually goes into the railing here, and you literally just depress that button, jut it forward, and you're ready to load a shell. So with that being said, we've got to give it a test. Now, first and foremost, how am I gonna carry this? Well, honestly, it's just dump pouch. Dump pouch is your easy to use universal pouch that gets a lot of hate for basically existing. You can throw mags in there, sure, it's gonna be fast to put a new mag, just drop your old one and re-index. But if you have a dump pouch, you're gonna save yourself a lot of time and heartache, let's be honest. So let's go ahead and I'm not gonna bother with my helmet or anything. But we have our old school GP, what is this, GP grenade? I can't remember, I got this from my uh, good buddy, Tesla Gojira. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna load this boy in. It seats up pretty nicely, and you can see where the cutaways are so we can get it out. So set that up nice and ready. We could even rotate it, well it doesn't rotate, it's in there really snugly, but as you can see, it is loaded. It's very easy to tell if there's a round in the chamber. And we're just gonna go ahead and we're going to launch this down over that way. I'm gonna stand with my back to you so you can look at my sexy patches. You point it down that way, and we go, a vast matey! And as such, they have been parlayed. So, pop that open. I don't know if you saw that. It's really easy to slide that open. That's fun. I like that. That's probably more enjoyable than anything else. Also, there's no nub on this uh, old school M16 pistol grip here. No nub to get in the way of your fingers, so that's nice. Okay, so that, so that's in there. As you can see, it's not just going to drop out, so you need to physically remove the round. So you can't speed reload it per se, but that's pretty effective. Now we take our very fickle Eagle Force grenades, because this is the ones we're actually going to be using to load full of 100 rounds and uh, slay people, so. Love that. We got a nice view of our brass here on the side, and now we're, we only have a cap in this. We're not launching 100 BBs in my tiny Japanese apartment. Ha ha! No, we're not doing it. So we're going to fire off a little cap here. We're literally busting a cap in a legitimate term. So, oh, there's a safety here, by the way. I figured I'd mention that at some point. It's just two nubs, and as long as that's in, it shouldn't fire. I don't trust it. Okay, yeah, it's not depressing the trigger. So there's a safety up here. It's very simple, and I like that. So, we load our next round, and we're gonna two-hand this one, because we're, I don't know, the shockwave will probably give us temporary PTSD, so we're just gonna fire that off. Whew. It's always loud for this one. And this one only, so. Remove shell. Shell goes in dump pouch or wherever we're going to carry. I'm probably only going to use one at a time, but there you go. Our, uh, can I? Come on, do it. Oh, our sexy boy right there. Yeah, it's, um, so this is, like, at the time of the review, anyway, this is a $50 piece, and my god, that's a pretty magnificent $50 piece. There is a bit of a... I don't know if this is the finish. 
it'd probably not be a terrible idea to swap out any of these, but I'm also not going to be using the rail. But it's a nifty little design. I do like it. I very much like the way they did the breach with this quick action button as opposed to a lever. So fewer moving parts means fewer problems. So sexy piece here. We'll probably put a, a nice little broom handle on here. We'll put a 203 on the top because that's just what people do these days. And yeah, we got a sexy piece. I've got a, uh, there's a little fold on, ah, I can't get access to it. There's a little uh, separate compartment in the mini map. And I could sit that right in there and it'll be really nice. But then I don't have access to it, so. You can't win them all, kids. You can't win them all. But yeah. I don't know if you want to look down the barrel or not. It's pretty simple. You can see the little uh, rivets and the slots up here. Never stick your finger inside a barrel, by the way. I'm giving you bad life advice right now. But yeah, you can see the little slots in there where all the uh, bolts go through. This bottom piece here is on its own separate little... Uh, cutaway so that's just bolted that's bolted more into this uh, what would you call the swivel down here than anything else but yeah absolutely fantastic it's actually really comfy too and it's got your oh, I've always called this the old-school rifle design because that's usually your rifles and you put your hand on there and get your little face into so I guess this would be the correct way to shoot it but uh, you know to each their own within reason. So yeah, we've got a sexy piece here, and um, if you're curious how it's going to work, well, we'll find out here on the 28th. So uh, yeah, go um, get on the enemy team, uh, run into the CQB house. I will almost nine times out of 10 go in there, and basically just um, usually you have an edge on the defending side, but this is gonna make things a bit more even, especially with two extra frag grenades in that dumb pouch, so. Frag, pop, and uh, M4, and handgun. So we're gonna have some fun out there. Yee. So anyway, I'm glad this is in my hands and not someone else's. So yeah, that's the review. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. It was fun. I had fun making it. And also underneath here, I got my new HSGI shoulder pad. So we'll be reviewing those here in a future video. So cheers everyone, stay chivalrous, and I will see you on the field. Maybe. This thing is a pain to turn off. Oh my god, that button's back there somewhere, I swear.